This is an important moment in the port's history. This installation puts the Port of San Diego into a very exclusive club. Our port becomes only the second in California to install such a system, much less the fifth in the world. Clearly, we're on the cutting edge of this technology, and this cold ironing dedication underscores the port's commitment and the commitment of our board to address environmental issues. It is a testament to this agency's environmental stewardship and our commitment to the community to make it a better place. This system will result in a significant reduction of pollutants from ships. Shore power will enable a ship such as this to shut down its diesel engines and literally plug in to the San Diego gas and electric, electrical source on shore. Importantly, when a cruise ship is plugged into the shore power system for eight or nine hours, it's going to keep approximately one ton of pollutants out of our air. We're some three years ahead in this accomplishment of, of when the state will in fact require ships to be shore powered. This project was made possible by the assistance of the county's air pollution control district. The district uh, has provided $2.4 million in state grants from the Carl Moyer program for the port's cruise ship terminal shore power project. The benefit to the San Diego County air quality and public health is certainly substantial. With this project, we will reduce emissions by an estimated 4,000 pounds per day of nitrogen oxides, which are a smog pre precursor, and 80 pounds per day for diesel particulate matter. Our, our uh, role in this project is really to put a little extension cord out here. And uh, uh, we, we did that. Uh, you think about it, it probably was uh, three or four or five years in the planning, but through great cooperation and teamwork, uh, we built this extension cord in about 10 months. Really, there's a lot of winners here, but the true winners are our San Diego community uh, for having a cleaner environment and just another great industry in our city. Well, basically, we take the, uh, the incoming power from the utility at 12,000 volts and we step it down to the standard voltage on, on the cruise ship, which is 11,000 volts. So, through the equipment lineup that we have out at the Embarcadero, uh, through some technical equipment, uh, we step the voltage down and deliver it uh, through the jib that's behind me into the cruise ship. And we gradually offload the ship and load up from the shore side onto the ship with that power so that the passengers never see basically a flicker of the lights or anything. This particular ship, the Osterdam right now, she's drawing at about six and a half megawatts. Uh, the larger Princess ships, for example, they'll be 10 to 11 megawatts. So um, it, it's a small city. So it's pretty, pretty seamless and uh, if everything goes okay, we can do it in just a matter of a few minutes.